So this sort of thing, though, can't this be weaponized by people with an agenda? I mean, not just the government criminalizing speech that criticizes them, but, for example, people who are uh, agenda-critical feminists, for instance, are often attacked as being hateful when all they're doing is expressing perfectly legitimate views that most people hold. Well, absolutely. And at ADF International, we've been campaigning against these hate speech laws across the world. Uh, so we've seen what happens uh, when they are put into place. Now, in Finland, uh, recently we had a, a big case where a politician and a grandmother uh, was put through two criminal trials uh, on the basis that she had tweeted a Bible verse and questioned her church's uh, decision to sponsor the Pride event in Helsinki. Now, she obviously has um, one of persuasion, one uh, out view, a Christian one, uh, but because the government found that this was offensive, she was dragged through two criminal trials and has been appealed to the Supreme Court. In Mexico, similarly, we had um, uh, we supported the defense of uh, Quadri, uh, a politician there who had uh, tweeted about his gender critical views. Um, because the government there, the court found him to be offensive, he was not only placed in an offender's register, he has been forced to tweet an apology on Twitter, on X, every day uh, for 15 days, twice a day because of his words, a pure humiliation.